And welcome back everybody. I am Aesop Grimm. This is a continuation of our Skyrim Chronicle. And I was uh, just renaming the video and kind of pondering what is it that leads to getting the quest to kill that dragon at the tower. And I remembered there's um, a mod I'm using. Well, there's a few mods I'm using. One is Not So Fast Main Quest. And one is Timing is Everything. And I know on the timing is everything thing here, uh, there is, okay, well, I thought there was a minimum level. Well, there is. Okay, so we can start the Dragonborn quest after Alduin's Wall, which is in Bleak Falls Barrow, I think. That's where we got our first dragon word. But I have to be a minimum level of 25. Before we can even start fighting dragons and stuff. I think that's how this is set up. But then there's the not-so-fast main quest also. So we really do have to just go tool around for a while and raise our skill levels. Like, we're a nobody right now. Nobody knows who we are or what we're good at. And it's kind of probably fitting that I just got my butt handed to me at uh, Silent Moon's camp. I am uh, carrying 119 pounds of equipment. I need to get my timer started. There we go. All right, so I wanted to look at how much a horse was. That's something else too. I'm alt tabbing real quick because before I buy that horse, I know I've got the convenient Horses mod. Oh, I have to have purchased the horse color's horn, which can be done from any stable master. Because before I buy a horse outright, I want to see if I can recall that one that I found. Oh, the game looks fantastic. It's a cold and dreary day, yeah, and it, it looks like it. So I think it's this guy right here that I have to talk to. Got the fleetest steeds in all of Skyrim. Horse handling, horse tech. Maybe this one. Interact horse added. Okay. Is that here? No. Take half damage and do double damage for 60 seconds. I wasn't able to activate this though, and I thought it was the shout button that would do it. It's strong. Maybe it's mouse five. Did I remap it? Yeah, I did. It's mouse five. Okay. That's my orc superpower. And it, it's awesome. Okay. So. I don't. I still don't know how to. How do I 
interact with horse. I'm alt tabbing again. I probably have to actually own the horse. Yeah, I think that's an ability you purchase. Maybe uh, looking at the the internet it looks like what that does is allows me to interact with the world using my interact button while I'm mounted. Only thing better than riding the swift horse is riding the swift horse over the enemy. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. None of them's older than nine, and the youngest is six. Now the horse I got for sale is seven years old, but in fine health. She's got a lot of spirit, that one. We've taken to calling her Queen Alfsiger, or just Ali for short. I expect you can name her anything you like once she's yours. Okay. What is a martingale? Horse Tech Martingale added. Well, what is this then? Why is it a lot more? Got the fleetest deep, suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. Yeah. You've got the deal. It's the one with the saddle. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and spend the money to get this. Horse tech basic gear added. Horse tech martingale. What's the difference? Maybe they work together. All right, this is Allie. No. This is Allie. Okay. And there is a mod that if you if you uh, go into sneak mode and access your horse it gives you options aha oh and my my partner just got a horse automatically oh that's awesome that's great I didn't look at those instructions. It said something about harvesting ingredients. Ah, there we go. Okay, we harvested one of five. That didn't work? Okay, I gotta pause. I think I want to go... Perform a fast dismount. Where 
Where are you going? Don't go over the edge, Allie. Goodness, what? <laughs> okay. Practice horse whistle. Mouse five to whistle. Oh, he's working on it. Man, that's neat. I think I've seen this before, too. I think this is with uh, included in Ultimate Skyrim. Command horse to follow. How do I do that? Okay, I had to hit mouse five twice. Quickly. Oh no, apparently that's just come to me. Need to remap that key though. Immersive HUD. I don't see immersive horses. Go to controls. Mouse one, mouse two, mouse five for shout power. I don't see anything else there. Oh, that remapped the horse whistle also. Hmm. So how do you not activate? I guess it's between here. If I have this selected, I'll activate that. If I have this selected, it'll be that. So what that means then is I want to have this favorited. Okay, we'll figure that out later. Oh, there it is. Purchase traveling equipment from a hostler. I, I've already done that, I thought. Do you get your horse, buddy? His horse left. That kind of stinks. We are not concerned with skeevers. We are possibly concerned with strangers. Okay, evidently not. Wolves. Take that.
Fang Doll. Where are you at? What? Let's ride. Okay, so this has been a little bit clunky so far. I'm sure I'll get better at it. that area in mind. There's steps leading up there. I might want to go explore that. I want to take out this bandit camp here. Can we go first person in horse view? No. You stay right here. I don't want you getting shot up. Okay, there's Fang Dao. Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. How about you let me through and I don't kill you? You know, now that I think of it, that sounds fair. Just shove off before the others notice. Well, I was just huh? kidding. I'm going to kill you no matter what. We're sort of anti-bandit. Make our living off you people. Oh, that's, uh, that is booby trapped. One of the hardest locks I've got in my. Haha! -ha. in here Fang Doll's taking on the archer I want to know if there's anybody up here I guess not Just a scratch. ah there you are Six. One, one person, okay. Probably need to go ahead and use. Let's do the watered elixir of health. Oh, good shot, Fang Dao. Looks like we win. Chemical properties of kitchen ingredients. 
Oh, that might be useful. They're they're giving me the ingredients for certain potions. Alchemy lab. My other brother, my middle brother, has read almost every book in Skyrim. I don't think I've read any of them. <laughs> well, that's not true. I have. But not a lot. And it's funny because I'm the one that got these both of these guys into Skyrim, and they've both done more than I have. Um, my youngest brother, I got him into Skyrim. My middle brother, I introduced uh, him to the series through the uh, Elder Scrolls. Uh, through, excuse me, through uh, Morrowind. Morrowind. He watched me play Morrowind. My younger brother was so young at the time that uh, that was a non-factor for him. He's like my younger brother's quite a bit younger than me. Uh, Fifteen years. And so he was a little kid at that point in time, but... Um, But he was old enough when Skyrim came around, so I introduced both of them to this series, and they have both accomplished more than me. When it comes to actually like completing the game now modifying the game and stuff like that i'm the only one who does that they're they're platform players i guess now you can do that on playstation but they couldn't do it initially and uh i'm trying to get them both into computers now my younger brother's about to jump into it actually my youngest Okay, let's get a point into... Let's see, what are we going to take here? Let's take more stamina. And we'll go ahead and take this point in lockpicking. And so... Yeah, my youngest brother is about to... Uh, well, I just gave him a bunch of my old parts, and so he's buying whatever other parts that he needs. And he's gonna get into PC gaming. And my other brother, I'm talking to him. And kind of showing him, really, that... Do I have a pickaxe on me? Probably not. Yeah. Oh, there's the interact horse. I saw it. It's in my items. Right there. Okay. I'm kind of showing him... Obviously, what I'm about to talk about here is just my opinion. I'm really not trying to invite a war or anything. Because um, I think that increasingly... There are, you, you have different ways that you can approach things now that are viable. But anyway, um, long story short, I'm showing him how even if he buys a relatively cheap entry-level computer, that's about the price it's like a few hundred more, I think, than what a PlayStation would cost them. And the new PlayStation, I think it's probably going to be more like on the same level. It'll be the same price. Now, that's just the computer. It's not the monitor. This is pretty, this is pretty dark. I don't suppose I have a torch on me, do I? Did I? No, I turned it into charcoal. 
Oh, there it is. I want to get outside of this tower and see if it's that dark outside. Or if it's just like this in the tower. What can I get for you? So I'm trying to get him... What do you need? Where he'll buy an entry-level computer on something like Cyber Monday. And then he can just kind of upgrade it as he's able to. Which, as I understand it... The new PlayStation Let and you know, Xbox are going to be upgradable. But, um, you don't, as far as I know, you don't get access to things like Steam. Where's the stairs? So that you can take advantage of those awesome sales. You don't really get the same access to mods in a game like Skyrim that you can on computer. So to me, the computer is still a better choice. Let's go to Cathedral Weather. Maybe brighten that up a touch. I don't know. Again, I'm looking for feedback. What's that look to everybody else? Or what's that look like to everybody else? Okay. Let's head back to Dragon Reach. And uh, we'll head to an inn. But yeah, uh, speaking from a really limited perspective, because I don't hardly ever touch consoles. It's been a while. In fact, I think I gave, I finally just gave my PlayStation away. I don't, I don't ever use it. Um, so I am very limited in, in this perspective. But I think from what I'm hearing... The I'm sorry. I know I keep pausing. Um, the fact that uh, these new consoles are going to be modifiable, I just think that we are more and more moving towards a point that you're not going to have to choose between a PlayStation or a computer. It's going to be kind of like iDevices. You know, we got phones, we got laptops, we got um, tablets. There's a whole lot of ways that you can watch a television show, for example. You know, a bunch of different devices, different size screens. They bring mobility to them or they bring picture quality. It just kind of depends on more what fits your set of circumstances it's it's not limiting what you have access to as far as the shows you know and i think video games are kind of moving towards that where it's not whether or not you want to be a pc player or you want to be a console player i think it's going to i think we're moving more towards they they all do about the same level of quality stuff it's going to be what fits your circumstance better and do you need something that can go that's more mobile 
you know, that you can move on the, it's going to have a smaller screen, but you can take it on an airplane and play it on Wi-Fi or something like that, you know. I think that's what we're starting to get towards, but we're not quite there yet. Not in my opinion. I, I think that the, the technology is pretty close, but then you have, I don't know really what to call it, but you have the things like Steam sales, you have, you know, mod access, all of that is still, the computer is a lot better. A lot more open source, a lot more ability, greater access, wider variety of things that you can get a hold of. And I'm not talking about piracy. I, I mean legal, you know. And uh, that that's still, I think the PC still owns that territory. But that gap is closing. just shoulder check grandma there all right we're at the end of this episode my timer says we got less than 20 seconds so see i like this night sky more it is more fantasy driven but i like that uh, i like it to look a little bit more like a different world with the moon a lot closer you know or maybe that's another planet you know things of that nature which we know like physics wise this doesn't really work <laughs> in the real world, but it looks pretty and I like it. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Holy smokes, what are you still doing awake? Oh, it's only 9 p.m. Okay. You cannot use this while in combat. I'm in combat? <laughs> Alright, we'll uh we'll save it right here. And uh, I'm going to drop stream for a little bit also uh, and take a bit of a break. But again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. And uh, I hope you like what you saw. And I'll see you in the next episode where this story continues. Thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode. And until then, stay shiny.